What would 26-year-old say to 16-year-old Niall now about the way his life's turned out? Your life's about to change. Ridiculous amounts. You're going to go from living in a small town of about 30,000 people to living in the biggest cities in the world, and you're going to play stadiums all over the planet in arguably one of the biggest boy bands of all time. Niall Horan really took us down memory lane Thursday night during the Late Late Show's latest installment of Carpool Karaoke. Talking so much One Direction that my heart basically burst out of my chest. It was huge. Like, I think you know you've made it when you just start having all manner of products yeah. and things just known about you. Like, my favourite of the 1D merchandise <laughs> was the One Direction toothpaste. <laughs> the fresh mint toothpaste. Oh my, I mean, yeah. there were fluoride toothpaste, fresh mint. Um, I actually brush my teeth with that every day. <laughs> I've got 17 fillings. <laughs> that wasn't even the best moment, though. Niall also dropped this bombshell. Do you actually think One Direction will get back together? Yes. True. Yes, seriously, he said that. Do you actually think One Direction will get back together? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna need a minute. Oh, and there's more. Having looked at 1D from the outside now, I got to see like how big it was. Yeah. It's only looking back now I realize how lucky we were. Like, there was no one doing stadiums at the time. Yeah. It's just insane. A One Direction reunion could actually happen. Let's review the facts, shall we? Seems some of the guys are still friends. You mentioned Niall, he's on stage right now. How has it been reuniting with him on the Jingle Ball Fantastic. Tour? Fantastic. I mean, we played a bit of PlayStation yesterday in my hotel room in San Jose. He came and hung out for a little bit, but it's just so nice to see him. And I mean, I don't know, when you see someone that you haven't seen for ages and you become the same person you were when you were with, I don't know, it's very interesting. You recently said you ran into Harry Styles for the first time in three years at the Capitol Jingle Bell Ball in London. What was the nature of your conversation that night? Um, we spoke about a number of things, um, so it was good to see him. It's, he was pretty much the same boy that I left him. We spoke about kids and happiness and all sorts of stuff, yeah. And Harry Styles said this pretty recently. What's your guilty pleasure? Uh, working out to One Direction. The biggest question would be whether or not Zayn Malik would be on board. Harry kind of took a dig at him on SNL last year. I love those guys. They're my brothers. Niall, Liam, Louis. Uh, Ringo. <laughs> yeah, that's it. What was your reaction to Harry Styles calling Zayn Malik Ringo during his SNL monologue last month? I think, you know, I think it's just a funny joke at the end of the day. I mean, obviously, you know, Zayn's circumstances for leaving were his own, and it's a, a different situation for all of us, and I suppose we deal with it in a different way. So, I mean, I, I thought it was quite funny. It was pretty funny. All right, guys, that's it for today. Here's to hoping for a One Direction reunion one day. For all the latest on 1D, stick with ET. Until next time, I'm Katie Krause, and bye for now.